Hi YouTube friends, I'm Heidi Villegas with Healing Harvest Homestead and the School of Botanical Arts and Sciences. I'm here in my home plant work area where I, I do things here at home and not down in my studio office uh, down in town. So I don't have all my supplies, but I'm sitting here with some vanilla, absolute and oleo resin. We're going to talk about both of these and um, a gallon of jojoba oil. And I brought these home because I want to go ahead and use my crock pot to help me to infuse the oil more quickly. So we're going to talk about that too. I thought I would just put this, make it, make a YouTube video <laughs> while I'm doing this. I'm doing it anyway. Uh, this is going to be a product that will be sold in my shop, uh, Grace Garden Naturals, uh, very shortly, as soon as it's done infusing. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about what we've got going on here. So first of all, Benefits of vanilla. Vanilla is amazing. It is an amazing uh, scent, number one, and super helpful for the mood. It's a pretty well-known, uh, traditionally used <laughs> aphrodisiac. I don't think there's any scientific evidence to that effect, but it's been used for thousands of years uh, in that regard. And it's wonderful for the skin. It's really, really helpful. So vanilla is anti-inflammatory. It can soothe inflamed skin. It's really helpful if there are any bacterial infections, it speeds wound healing. It's got very, very powerful antioxidant qualities and it's full of B vitamins. So vanilla is super helpful for the skin. I love using it in skincare products. It's quite expensive though. So we're gonna just kind of talk about some different ways you can make your own vanilla infused oil as well. Now, let's go ahead and talk about jojoba oil and the benefits of jojoba oil. So jojoba oil is liquid as you can see here and that's why many people refer to it as an oil but the truth is it's actually a wax it comes from the Samanzia chinensis plant which is native to the Sonoran desert and other areas in Mexico very very dry areas and the wax coats the leaves of this plant and so this it, it can be extracted and now used as a, a jojoba oil for people the neat thing about jojoba oil is that it is uh, one of the oils, the carrier oils, in fact it is the carrier oil that is closest to human skin's natural sebum. So that's one of the things that makes it so wonderful for skin care. And what that means is that it's closest to our own natural lipid layer. So your lipid layer is the layer of oil that our skin uh, puts out to keep us moisturized and to protect our skin. You want to get oils to support your skin in that regard. So jojoba oil is one of the best. It's non-comedogenic, so it doesn't clog pores either. And it just is really wonderful to support that natural lipid layer. In fact, it's really good for all skin types. One of the formulations I used to make for people with skin care issues like acne even and oily skin was to add a little bit of jojoba oil to the facial cleansers that I made and that actually helped to preserve the skin's natural uh, lipid barrier instead of stripping it away, which is bad because that makes your skin want to produce more oil and hence we get more oily skin when we overwash. So jojoba is just absolutely amazing. It's wonderful. And so we're going to go ahead and infuse some jojoba oil with some vanilla. And the uses for this infused oil are going to be many. <laughs> you can uh, use the infused oil for skincare, for fragrance, for all kinds of things. We're going to go ahead and get started. So I've got two different things going on here. I've got, first of all, let me just say this. If you wanted to to fill your jar about, you know, yay full with um, vanilla beans. You know, you cut them and kind of strip that middle out and just, just infuse your oil that way. You could certainly do that too. That's one way you could do this. In fact, I love combining lots of different kinds of vanilla when I infuse my oil and I do, I have used vanilla beans before and they're wonderful, but I don't have any right now. <laughs> what I do have are two different kinds of vanilla extracts. I've got uh, vanilla oleo resin and I've got vanilla absolute and these are very very different things they are very different extracts they're both rather thick but I want to just talk about the differences with you so the oleo resin 
is a little bit better to use an infusing oil, and that's because it is soluble in your fixed carrier oils uh, for the most part. The carrier oil can extract the scent and the fragrance of the essential oils. Oleo resins contain uh, the essential oil of the plant and any fixed oils of the plant, and the fixed oils that this contains actually helps it to be more soluble in the lipid oil or the uh, carrier oil. And antioxidants, it contains those from the vanilla, and color, the pigment, is, is also contained. You know, it's funny because many oleo resins are also used in the food industry. So the way that they're made or created is that a solvent, and it's usually acetone or uh, CO2 or ethyl um, acetate, and there's a few others, are added to the plant matter, and then you get this extract, and then you use another sol solvent, usually these big, these are huge companies with lots of machinery, and they extract the solvent that was used from the oleo resin that's left over. And what you end up with is a really beautiful, um, rather thick uh, vanilla. If I turn this upside down, it's just, the lid is totally off. It's just not gonna drip out, so I have to scoop it. Uh, but oleo resins are really nice for infusing in your oils. Absolutes, on the other hand, are more used in the fragrance industry, but there are benefits as well to infusing in your infused oil. But if you have a choice, definitely go with the oleo resin. Absolutes usually contain um, high concentrations of waxes and colors. And it's funny because I was doing some research online, and as is the case <laughs> in, for, in a lot of ways, uh, a lot of conflicting information. I found sites that said, yes, you can infuse absolutes in carrier oil, and I found other sites that said, no, you can't. So I'm just going to go with one of my favorite schools that I've attended, and the lady does use absolutes along with oleo resins and I feel like okay I don't have a whole lot of oleo resin here so I'm going to go ahead and use some absolute as well and I think this is going to be just a really powerful uh, infused oil. So let's go ahead and get started here and I just want to say depending on the outcome of the scent I may also just add in some of my, my uh, vanilla extract which you know is extracted in, in alcohol, but it smells very, very good, and it will have no problem if I use a small amount mixing in. So I'll go ahead and scoop this out here. You can see how thick it is. It's just like, and you know, oozing off of the, the knife. And I also want to say normally I would be using a glass stir rod for this. <laughs> However, like I just said, I am at home. Uh, here we are on a Saturday. I'm getting ready to actually go out into the garden and, and do some work in the garden and harvest some plants here in a minute. I've got motherwort ready to go and my comfrey needs to get cut back and my mint is ready to go. So I was thinking about doing some uh, steam distillation this afternoon with one of my gills but I think the day is running away from me, so I don't think that's going to quite happen. And what I'm gonna do with this is, you know, there's obviously like a little bit of leftovers in here. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this with oil and just let it sit and see if I can get the rest of it off of the uh, bottle into an oil, and then I can just pour that into this. So here we go, I've got this, and oops, I did mean to put half of it in this jar. So I guess we're just gonna go with a quart. <laughs> Let's start with a quart of of the oil and I'm just going to take a little bit of ooh, the absolute. The absolute does pour as you just saw. Um, you know I think I should just talk with you really fast about the differences in the scents too. Um, there is a difference in the scent between the oleo resin mm, and the absolute. Uh, to my nose the oleo resin smells a lot better. I really like it a lot better. So if you are going to be buying vanilla in this form and you are going for scent, I just really like the oleo resin smell. Now, and it's interesting because the vanilla absolute is what is generally used for fragrance, okay? And it's usually solubilized in alcohol or ethanol. But to me, I still smell some of the solvent uh, in it. So maybe it's just my nose or whatever. I just don't think it smells quite as good. All right, so now I am going to seal up here if I can. Ooh, it's gooey. Okay. 
Okay. This leaked a little bit in the box. I got this gallon from New Directions and it came in the box and a little bit of it leaked out, not a big deal. But um, there we go. Yeah, the seal was a little bit, I guess it just tore. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour a quart of the jojoba oil into my jar. Okay, now I've got some options here as well. I can, um, and a lot of people will do this, just go put a lid on this, shake it up, and like I do, would do with an herbal infused oil, let it sit for two to four weeks and just extract, gently and slowly extract the fragrance and the other components out of this oil. Uh, but I wanna speed the process up because I actually am going to be doing a workshop with uh, members of my church. I'm just kind of trying to clean the knife off here. You can see the it's turning brown, it's really pretty. But I'm doing a workshop with my church on Thursday evening and I want to have this ready to go. So guess what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm going to use gentle heat and uh, gentle heat is actually really good for working with oleo resins and absolutes as well. It just helps break them up a little bit. Um, so I'm going to put this in my crock pot and I'm going to set it uh, initially on low just to get the heat up really well and get this warmed and then I'll turn it down to warm and I'm just going to put a lid on this and let it sit for a few days. In fact, why don't you come with me and we'll take a look at that setup, okay? All right, let's go take a look. Okay, so here I have it in my very, very clean and wonderful uh, kitchen crock pot. And I'm just going to infuse this. So we can do a little more stirring here of this. Yeah, you can see that... Um, Oleo resin and absolute are starting to come off of the knife really well, especially because uh, the oil just grabs it and soaks it right up. So uh, one thing about making jojoba infused oils is often um, the oleo resin uh, and the absolute will kind of glob up in it and, and it's not going to ever disperse completely. So you can actually use your jojoba infused uh, or vanilla infused jojoba oil uh, as is with the, the little bits of brown floaties here <laughs> right in there. It's not going to hurt you. Uh, many people do this. They just will strain off the oil as they go and that way it's just kind of always in a state of infusion. So I'm going to go ahead and use this warm heat method. I'm going to estimate for about uh, a day or two. You know, some people will just say for a few hours. And, and I honestly, when I'm using the heat method for my infusions, whether it's herbal or in this case, the oleo resin and a little bit of absolute, I like to let it go a little bit longer. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the crock pot down to warm and just let this go. I did put a, a little lid on top of the jar and that's because I, I just wanna protect it from any impurities coming from the air as well as the potential of any water accidentally splashing in it. But you know, the water's all the way basically about uh, only about a quarter of the way up the jar. I do have a cloth sitting at the bottom of the crock pot in the water, and that is just to make sure that there's no jiggling and keep it very steady and safe. And that's what we're doing today. We're just infusing uh, jojoba oil with some vanilla and having a really good time with it. I'm going to be enjoying the scent, and that's it. I'm Heidi Viegas with Healing Harvest Homestead. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video <laughs> kind of thrown together at the last minute. But hey, why not, you know, do something that I'm actually, you know, sharing and doing, right? Which is what I usually do anyway because I just don't have a lot of time to do other things. So maybe I'll take you outside in the garden with me next. We'll see. All righty, I'm Heidi Viegas with Healing Harvest Homestead. It has been a pleasure talking with you today. Please do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to check the description where it says show more below and I've got a lot of free things for you there. I would love to have you join my email list for lots of uh, herbal tips and tricks and I will see you in the next video. Please like, subscribe, and share. That really helps the channel. Thanks a lot. 
All right. I love you guys. Bye-bye.